Look at this. Ever since the XP38 came out, they just aren't in demand. Thank you to everybody for joining. My name is Matt Rosu. I'm a professor of economics at Susquehanna University with Ben Smith, who's an economist at the University of Nebraska to Omaha. Ben, thank you for being back to talk more Star Wars. Oh, it's great to be back to talk about more Star Wars. <laughs> and we are, this is part of a series, Economic Lessons from Star Wars. Uh, ben and I, along with Bailey Hackenberry, put together the Economics of Star Wars website, completely free for you to access. And you could watch dozens of clips that illustrate economic lessons. Here, we're, we're going to talk about one of those clips where Luke Skywalker, I think it's a crash course in demand and supply, not in the way he wants, but let's go to the clip right now. You'll have to sell your speeder. That's okay. I'm never coming back to this planet again. All right, give it to me. I'll take it. Look at this. Ever since the XP38 came out, they just aren't in demand. It'll be enough. Short clip spliced together from a couple parts of the original Star Wars, A New Hope. Uh, Luke Skywalker goes to sell, not very happy with what the result is. A uh, little, quite a lot on demand and supply here. What, um, what are you thinking when you watch this? So, I mean, versions of this happen all the time now because of technology, right? And so th this, I mean, at the most basic level, this is about substitutes and the availability of now a superior substitute. Yep, yep. <laughs> and, um, and as we all know, what, what this is going to do is, is that it's going to shift around the demand curve. Um, and so um, the, the, the consequence is the same as if, you know, you had a, a really fancy computer and then new processor comes out and suddenly your really fancy computer is not, so not nearly as cool anymore. And yeah. it turns out that you you can't sell it for what you could sell it for, you know, not that long ago because there's a new, you know, there's a new product out. So, yeah, absolutely. The the dem it would cause what economists would say is a demand curve shift. The number of the number of units that could be sold at any given price, it's just going to fall. And that drops the equilibrium price. Uh, graph will be on the screen for those watching. And Luke can't get as much for that. What here, he's in a desperate spot. They're leaving the planet. He just simply yeah. has to sell no matter what the price. Uh, often, I don't know how often you've sold your old computers. What ends up happening for mine is I end up using them. And by the time it comes around to possibly selling, it's like, I don't even know if I'm getting enough that makes it even worth selling the computer anymore. Yeah. And that's, I think that's pretty much what happens to a lot of people is, is that it's the, the drop off in price is so extreme that it makes it so that the effort is just not worth it. Yeah. You know, and so so you maybe you sell it to one of these people like Gazelle or someone like that who will largely you're doing it just because you're trying to, you know, get it recycled. Sure, <laughs> the amount sure. of money at this point is like is so trivial that it doesn't it doesn't really even matter anymore. Um, so, you know, it, whether it's a speeder or your your phone or yeah. whatever, it's the same principle that's a, a being applied here. Yeah, they talk about it, just how there's a market. The new speeder came out, so they don't care. I am curious if there maybe was a little bit of bargaining power that Luke didn't have. If they know that Luke is leaving the planet, uh, he has to sell no matter what the price is. Sure. They might have sure. been able to perhaps exploit the situation a little bit and maybe give Luke. He, they don't give any indication of it. Right. But it could be a little bit of a plausible explanation for why they didn't make quite as much as they would have been hoping. Right. Yeah. But short clip today. I hope that everybody, though, enjoyed learning a little bit of economics from Luke Skywalker and Star Wars. So thank you to everybody for watching. This is part of a series on economic lessons in Star Wars and also have several on economics lessons in the movies in general. Uh, you could check out the channel for economics in up and the Shawshank redemption and contact a previous video. So please like, and subscribe. And Ben, thanks for joining me for this video and for the previous videos, any closing thoughts on economics in star Wars. Um, star Wars is a really interesting environment to talk about economics because it's pretty different than, you know, some of the other places where you might see some economics that are maybe tied to 
you know, the the comedy shows and things like that, they're tied to our own reality, right? They they right. exist in the United States or they exist in some country that really exists. What's interesting about Star Wars is, is that they they do have some interesting lessons in them just because they're not in that environment. They're in a much rougher environment. And so some of the econ is um is is more apparent that we would not see in our day-to-day -day lives just because their their institutions are a little bit different and the environment that they're they're operating in is a little yeah. bit different. No, it's great points. Um uh, I think a great way to end the video. Thank you to everybody for tuning in. Thanks again, Ben, and we'll see everybody in the next video.